Okay. Mm, in this talk, I outline the contribution of free work packages of the Horizon Group One project computational literary studies infrastructure. In computational literary studies, the primary object of study is the corpus of texts. Any research begins with building a corpus of texts to track. So when Hoytlong and Richard Janssen, the well-received Haikuku literary patterns recognition, describe how they constructed their corpus, they rely on a very well-documented and thoroughly described history of the reception of the Haiku in Anglo-Saxon poetry. Uh, Johnson uh, called it a genre Haiku and was one to have had the most powerful poetic influence of Western poetry in the last century in this history, history in this uh, heroic history revolves around the names of uh, T. E. Hahn, Ezra Pound, Ernest uh, Feneloza, W. H. Oden, John Noguchi and others. Taking the Haiku as starting point, we would like to use this uh, relatively well known and thus verifiable case uh, to enhance the process of building corpora of different, less uh, prominent genres while using the resources available online. So at first we expanded the search uh, to corpora of texts in different languages and literary cultures so that we can move on to identifying tokens of lesser known texts. In Anglo-Saxon tradition, the history of haiku reception is uh, well known to a degree that for uh, long and so really interesting are the cases where the classifier misclassifies, misclassifies a poem. In other case, in the case of multilingual collections, the process of pre-selecting the text themselves becomes important by identifying potential haiku candidates in online collections even before one starts training classifiers. It is truly basic research in every sense of the word basic. The multilingual envi environment makes our task more difficult, especially concerning the haiku's uh, formal features. Japanese phonetics uh, substantially differs from the Indo-European languages. For example, the haiku is measured in mora, a unit of duration different than a syllable, and features a kireji, so-called cutting word, where the haiku uses kireji, the western part typically divides the poem into verses. Likewise, the semantics of the haiku remains culture-specific. A poem is supposed to contain a kigo, a lexin coding uh, in a constant way, a season. Ultimately, for the linguistic reasons alone, all European haikus are only approximations of the exact form and every language approximates haiku and the haiku in its own way. The impossibility of identifying the canonical version of the haiku outside of Japanese literature, where the genre also changed vehemently, all this makes the search for sustainable data extremely time and resource consuming, especially when coupled with the uh, heterogeneity of the existing infrastructure of uh, text collections. In these situations, the following questions arise. Uh, which features of different European approaches to the canonical Japanese genre should be prioritized in the process of identifying a text as a haiku? And more generally, how to enhance the search for specific features of texts contained in various collections only? Uh, and how can the evaluation of and exploration of literary text collections be facilitated in terms of these features? So we tested two approaches in order to answer those questions. First, uh, we tentatively explored corpora as they are. And second, we looked for an infrastructural solution and came up with corpus exploration platform. At first, we embarked on the manual search, as we said, and in Sales Infra project, we collect literary collections and uh, catalog uh, collections. So, and from these collections, we selected uh, those that contain 20th century text and are packed with labels, lyric, poem, poetry, or have no tag at all. 
and uh, explicit haikus uh, are either translations of Japanese novels originally created or original creations uh, labeled as haiku. The refinability heavily relies on metadata provided by corpus, corpus compliers or distributors, and here two technical cases are Viki Source and the Russian National Corpus, which recognize the haiku as a distinct form, but only in relation to separate poems and not in the inventory of genres to choose from or to pre select uh, your choices. Nevertheless, uh, some corpora, such as the Scottish Corpus for the Text and Speech and Project Gothenburg, contain haikus sometimes quoted in a work of different nature, for example, a description of Japanese sex life. That is the only result uh, for a project Gutenberg. Of course, the um, searching through long texts for scattered haikus uh, costs time and energy, especially when a text doesn't say anything about haiku but illustrates some points uh, with a haiku. Um, as for implicit haikus, as that is. Uh, Haikus which have a form of uh, haiku but uh, don't label themselves as a haiku. The refinability depends on the addressability of certain textual features, such as phrases, syllables, and topics. This addressability of features depends on the structure of the corpus. With regard to data formats, for example, JSON seems to be the most obvious and effective solution regarding including features such as uh, first size or stanza type. We actually in Goldberger developed an algorithm to extract three first poems from the Deutsches Lyric Corpus, the corpus of German lyric. In the VL curve, verses and syllables are already marked in JSON, which makes it possible to count syllables and thus uh, provides an additional criterion for identifying possible hyphens. However, the ideal structure of 17 syllables divided 5 plus uh, 7 plus 5 could not be identified. Uh, this survey of the data landscape as is pointed us to two main problems, inconsistencies in the recording of metadata and the discrepancies in the structural annotation of text literary corpora. We tried to uh, address these problems in our infrastructural solution, uh, which is uh, so-called so corpus exploration platform, whose main function is to provide an exhaustive uh, catalog of literary text textual resources available on. Um, in the spirit of open science. So, is being constructed as an instance of the open source knowledge management system research space which the British Museum has made available to numerous digital humanities projects. Uh, research space and by extension CP aims to recreate dynamic relationships between objects and events. And these relationships are such to go beyond the tabular form of a relational database. Uh, they are, of course, semantic in nature. Like any other project implemented with research space, uh, CEP uses an ontology of a framework for representing knowledge uh, in the form of structure by but multidimensional information. The ontology is stored using a graph database containing RDF uh, and coded representations of corpora and their documents as linked open data. The knowledge graph is uh, basically stored in triplets. Moreover, this equips with a customizable set of patterns for linking such data to external reference resources. A dynamic knowledge graph can be manifested in various uh, data interactions, visualizations, uh, rationalizations, and workflows using crucial spaces, templating system for front end development. The ontology of uh, CP as a concrete, concrete instance of research space is conceived as a descriptive meta model for literary corpora providing control to vocabulary for categorizing the corpora documents and files formats. 
And the formal ontology conforms to syntax CRM while building on the meta model for corpus metadata conceived by Caroline Nottenberg. This model, which has been pro proven to work very well for linguistic corpora, for example, in the Laudatio repository, this model should be rendered uh, in a machine readable format and adapted to literary text, the collections and queries that are made uh, with literary research questions in mind. This process of uh, adaptation amounts to extending the CDOC CRM with reference to established ontologies such as, uh, such as uh, LRM, OO, or post-data, post -data, uh, on, on the poetry core ontology, as well as reference resources such as Wikidata or the UA decimal classification. We have specified a lot of the UA decimal classification with a more detailed list of literary genres and above all devices. The CEP will consist of several components, but its core is a catalog of literary corpora, which, in addition to the list of resources, contains explicit statements about the various characteristics of individual corpora, in particular information about the internal structure of the documents, e.g. the presence of explicitly annotated verses. By uh, recording provenance information, see to allow even conflicting statements about the resource uh, to be made, which can be traced and evaluated individually. Another component of the CEP is a Sparkle endpoint. The Sparkle API, uh, API allows communication with other resources stored in LDF databases such as the PostData or uh, Drac or Poetry Standardization in Open Data and the Drama Corpora Project. Uh, the triangulation between CEP, PostData and Drac or communicating, communicating via APIs um, is a first bud for the future development of programmable corpora, which is defined in Celes Infra as corpora that provide an open, transparent, documented, and at least partially research driven API to make text machine processable. So, in order to make Haiku and other the Haiku and other genres more findable, CP will attach to the corpora information such as tokenization, rules, syllable structure, stanza structure, etc., and will communicate with other resources in order uh, for Haiku to become more findable and accessible. Thank you for your attention. Here's uh, some selected reference and just a Thank you, Slack. Thank you.